what we want to do, guys and gals, we're looking at the gold chart right now. Uh, the first thing we want to do <clears throat> before we do any of this is that this market profile chart is a very important chart, this big chart. These templates are already pre-made for you for those at least. It looks just like this on the template when you put it on your own computer. This works for all markets. I don't care if you trade stocks, futures, all futures, currency. It doesn't matter. It's the same exact setup. So what we want to do is, is that we want to first establish what is the trend. And that's the most important thing when you're trading an aero-based system like this or a market profile-based system or market delta. Basically, essentially, what this program tries to do is three things. Number one, it tries to find major support and resistance by order flow in the market with volume profile. That's, that's my number one uh, market profile. That's my number one thing it tries to do is it tries to find support and resistance. Number two, my arrows to the right here, they try to find the sweet spot on a retracement. As you can tell, these arrows are trying to find the swing high on a retracement. They fire when the bar closes. So if you look on this long uh, time frame chart, it's fired one, two, three, four, five, six, seven swings since midnight on the longer term chart. This is a five Simrenko. So this is a five Simrenko, and these templates are already made, made for you. This is your longer term chart. You're not going to get as many swings. Okay, so that's a five Simrenko. It tries to find the sweet spot on the retracement. Now, what you want to try to marry up is, is if I got market profile sitting over here and I've got resistance, if I'm in a downtrend, I got resistance as my green, blue, and red line, since we're in a downtrend, a break retest of that line would be a significant place to look for an arrow to fire. Because I have resistance, a break retest of low value area in a downtrend, and then I got the arrows that fired right at a full retracement. Now let's go over this and I'm going to show you how we marry this up. Down below the arrows is market delta. What is significant about that? Market delta tells you the order imbalance between the bid and the ask. It lets you know if we have net buying or net selling in the market. So here's how you put it all together. What you want to do is first of all is when you first log in is you want to look at my trend filter off of the market profile chart. It's the easiest way to do it. Now the trend filter is a built-in uh, built trend filter. It's different than the arrows over here. They're, they're, they're different MAs. Moving averages are worthless to me. They're absolutely worthless for support and resistance. But they're great for a couple things. They're great for trend direction, to find out where full retracements are, and then also to find out um, where a possible major uh, a sell point can happen on a retracement level. So what we want to do then is we want to look and see what the trend is first. Now, the best way to do it is this pre-built-in, uh, this built-in uh, moving average right here is the angle of it. That's the most important. That's the first thing you should do when you first log in. So when you first log in and you're sitting down your, your, your desk, don't look at the, where the arrows are at or where market delta is at. I don't even care where market profile is at. You want to ask yourself, am I trending or am I chopping? The market can only do two things. It's going to trend for us or it's going to chop, I mean being, being in range. It's very vital you do that. If you understand that, you're 50% already there. So, and that's been working since market profiles were around for 33 years. you got to establish trend. If I'm angled down, look at the angle down on the Magenta MA here, the, the built-in trend filter. If I'm angled down, then I want to be a net seller. I want to look for sell arrows. I want to take negative market deltas. I want to look for break retest of profiles. So if I'm angled down, I got three shots at going short in the market with market profile. The first shot you have is I have three profiles on here that's the most important. The big red thick line, I'm looking at gold right now, guys, if you're following me. Um, big red line is the high value area. That's volume profile. That's actually taking all the monies from the hedge funds, prop firms, amateur traders, banks, hedges, so on. The big blue line is the most volume that's traded. That's called the control point or the POC. That's the most volume that's traded in this instrument. I don't use 30-minute market profiles. To me, they're worthless. I use longer-term institutional profiles. You're going to see a lot of trades off this blue line with trend. So your, your, your methodology is, is this. If I'm trending down, I get three shots of going short. The first short is going to be if the market comes up for a deep retracement to the high-value area. You're going to try to get a V top. That's your first opportunity to go short in a downtrend. 
Your second opportunity to go short is if you break down and you retest the POC or the control point, the blue line, the most volume traded. It did that on crude here a second ago, and we got a nice little short on crude here a second ago. That's a second opportunity. The third opportunity is we're smarter than the average trading opponent. We know that market profile, even all these books, they say buy low value. Just because it's low value doesn't mean we buy it. We're smarter than that. We're more educated. We know low value is an area of support and resistance, but we know that in a downtrend, we do not touch low value area. We look for it to break. We look for it to retest. And one, right, right when it retests, we look for a continuation pattern. These are called ABC patterns, or some traders call it one, two, three patterns. These are the three patterns you're going to do in a downtrend. The market is very simple. It's very orderly. It's not difficult to understand. Because what happens is, is that the market profile is the roadmap of the market. It's teaching us, it's showing us where underlying support and resistance is, not from my opinion or your opinion or from some, some stochastic or Mac or anything that's lagging. It's showing us we're actually volume coming in from algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, amateur traders, professional traders. It's showing us actual volume coming in the market. So this is road mapping the market. It's mapping the market for us. It's a road map. So what we do is once we establish the trend, trend is down right here. It's the first thing you look at. Once I establish trend down, I'm going to tell myself, okay, I got three shots at going short on market profile. Now the, the, the top profile, I have three different profiles on this chart. The top profile we're going to see a lot of trades off of are off this big red, big blue, big green line. High value red, control blue, green would be the low value area. Why? That's volume profile. Three shots at it. You sell high value if it retests in a downtrend. You break retest the control point for continuation. You break retest the LVA for continuation. That's in a downtrend. Now, if you're in an uptrend, if you log in and you are angled up, guess what I do? I look for a break retest of the blue control point. We try to buy. It's just the opposite. If I'm in an uptrend, I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy a V bottom. I'm going to buy a V bottom at the LVA. I'm going to look for a break retest of the control point in an uptrend. And then I'm not going to sell high value. I'm smarter than that. I'm more educated than that. We know better. We know not to counter trend trade the flow of the market. We'll let it break out of the high value. We'll let it retest the high value. And then we'll look to go long. That's putting it all together on market profile. So there's only three shots of going short. If I'm in a downtrend, angle down, I sell HVA, break retest blue, break retest green. If I'm an uptrend, I try the V bottom on the green, break retest blue, break retest red. Now, my other profile that's most important is my developing profile, this thin red line and thin green line. You're going to see a lot of trades off that to the tick. We had one this morning right here. That was just a beautiful trade early this morning, break retest right off of the early morning trades. The arrow fired right there also. I love trading off that. Sometimes we'll stop to the exact tick on that. It happened on uh, crude. I'll show you a second ago also. Those are my two favorite profiles. I like to trade with trend. Break retest, inside or outside, you're going to have some nice trades. My third profile I have on there is not as important. It's been around since 85. It's price profile. Those are these green dots and red dots. Just use those for confluence if they stack over top the other two. But I don't use those as individual. I use the other two as individual trades. Now, so that's market profile. Very simple. Very orderly. Three shots are going short. Three shots are going long. Be patient. Wait for the trade. Now, why do I have the arrows in? So the market profile is going to give me three shots of going long and three shots of going short on any given market, any given day, any given time. It will move with order flow. Once this blue line moves, it's going to move these other two lines. But what about the arrows? What, what are they designed for? Do we take all arrows? Absolutely not. These arrows are going to try to fire. Here is gold today. They're going to try to fire in a sweet spot retracement in the market. What does that mean? We, I have over 600 plus traders around the world that trade news events off of a blank chart, off of simply a blank chart. How do they know where to buy and sell after seconds after news releases? I have a book that I published that, uh, that, that we released, I'm sorry, that shows you exactly where the market should reverse. It's called a sweet spot. Well, now I put them into the arrows. These are now arrow-based systems. In fact, my crude oil trade, the arrow system caught the exact sweet spot today on crude oil. I'll show you in a second that had a huge 
sell signal based upon my book that I released. The arrows came up automatically. What they try to do is they try to get the swing high or swing low with trend. Now the best way to do it is they're going to fire after the bar closes. When the bar closes, the arrow is going to fire. They're not lagging at all. The best way to do it is to marry it up with market profile. So if I look at market profile and there's my break retest of LVA, both of them, I have a 715 short and then I have a 745 short. If I look at it and I come over here on the arrow based system, I've got two trades right here on the longer term five sim that had the arrows on the retracement. Look how my arrows fired right there and right here off market profile. Look how it married up. Look how they both married up. See how they married up? Now here's the trick to this and here's the way you can get in full retracements. I use a longer term MA on, the, on, on my arrow chart. I want to show you how neat this is. Okay, you notice on this last sell signal we got over here on the long term chart. What I'd like to see is I'd like to see it at least on my longer term chart on a sell signal at least hitting my shorter term MA, the white MA. See how it hit that? We had a sell full retracement on my short time frame. See how it hit the, the smaller time frame? We had a full retracement on the smaller time frame. See how it hit it right there? Full retracement on the small time frame. This one was at a full retracement on the small time, on big time frame. But look at the small time frame. Look at this. Look how we had a full retracement. What does a full retracement mean? This is a three sim rank of a smaller time frame chart. So this is preset already in the templates that we make. So what I want you to do is I want you to look for full retracements on the three sim on all trades. All trades should have full retracements on three sim. And what happens if they combine with the larger time frame, such as this, then you have a nice continuation. What happens sometimes is you will get a full retracement on my large time frame and get a full retracement on my smaller time frame. That is beautiful alignment. That's called textbook alignment. If you see that and the market is trending angled down like this, you have to take the trade. So this last sell setup on gold was to me a perfect setup. I have a break retest of low value area. I'm in a downtrend. My long time frame is at the smaller. It doesn't have to be at, the, at a full retracement. It's got to be at least at the smaller, um, um, smaller MA. But my short time frame is at a full retracement. In fact, what you don't want to do as a trader is you don't want to take trades like this. Don't take trades like this where the arrows fire like this. Don't take trades on a smaller time frame right here. You got to know when not to trade too. Don't take these trades right here. You're way away from a full retracement on a smaller time frame. I want you to get in on these. Full retracements, back up on the smaller time frame, full retracements. That up here too. If the larger time frame fires, it's be a great full retracement trade. Full retracement, full retracement. Let the arrows fire on the full retracement. Remember, your smaller time frame is going to fire more arrows. So we got to be more picky with the smaller time frame. I don't take all arrows. I'm educating you not to take all arrows. I want full retracement trades. So what the great alignment will be when it lands on the smaller, smaller time frame and then it lands on the smaller time frame on a full retracement. Now, what happens when you come down, I mean come up to the full retracement? I want you to look for negative market delta. Check this out. Look how pretty this is. Negative market delta is a red delta. The red delta is right there. The most important thing is not as much as the numbers now. We used to have it in Ninja 7 where anything in imbalance over 200 was more important. Not anymore because now i got a sweet spot on my retracement trades with the arrows. Any imbalance, if it just turns red, I want to get in the market. So I'm looking for the market delta to set me up with trend and support and resistance. I'm looking for the arrows to give me the sweet spot on the retracement. And then I'm looking for the market delta to fire myself in the trade. Once it closes red, when the arrow fires, close red market delta. Fire yourself in the trade, stop losses two ticks above the swing high, and then we scale with our proprietary symmetry dots um, that we have available for all you traders. Okay, it's that simple. Keep it simple. Do not make this hard. Gerald, go to crude. Go to crude, and I'm going to shut this off here in a few. Gerald, uh, swing over to crude. Crude oil, buddy. If you can swing it, thanks, man. All right, now let's look at crude oil. All right, now here's a longer term time frame. Now check it out. Let's first look at our, let's look at our trade first. Are we in an uptrend or downtrend? Well, it only takes me a half a second to realize what I am as a trader. I'm a net seller. Why? Look at my angle and my magenta MA. The white MA is not as important, okay, on this market profile chart. It's more used for the larger spread equals what? 
harder trend. But the most important is the magenta, I'm angled down. So what, what I say we want to do, we want to break retest LVA. We want to have, we've got three shots of going short, right? We come up here for a V top in the high value area. We come up here with V top. Or we, what do we do on the control point, the blue line? We let it break retest. Check it out. Break, retest. We got ABC, stopped right on it, didn't it? It happens like this. You're going to see thousands and thousands and thousands of trades off this control point, off this longer time frame. That's my second shot. My next shot is going to have to get away from LVA. I'm not buying LVA down here. And I'm going to have to retest it. Whoops. I'm going to get to LVA. Get this off here. Get to LVA, retest it, and try to go short. So you got three shots of going short to, to the uncrewed. How did it line up? Check it out. Well, here's my break retest of my thin LVA line. Look how it stopped to the exact tick. Right there. Look how it stopped here. Right here. And then look how it stopped over here. Now, do my arrows marry up with any of these trades? Because that's my resistance, right? Break retest. That's my resistance. Did I marry up on my sweet spot on my retracement trades? Absolutely. Gorgeous right here. My arrow's fired on my long time frame. Look, it's resting right in my shorter time frame. Resting right in my short time frame. Beautiful. I want a full retracement now on my shorter time frame. Look at these. Beautiful. Now, look how it marries up on a full retracement. This is a retest of the control point. Look how it married up right at the full retracement. Right there, full retracement right at this one. Actually, almost stopped right at the perfect retracement level. All right? You want to look for a full retracement on a shorter time frame when you're up against these levels. Now, did Market Delta give us a short? Absolutely. Look at Market Delta. Negative 376. So you're going to do it in all markets, guys. Not hard. Not hard. Let the system do the work for you. Negative 376. Once it closes red, open the bar up. Now, some of you guys and gals have different numbers. It's because of tick data. Don't worry about it. It's all about the close of the red bar versus green bar. You're trying to get in with an order imbalance. So it doesn't matter per se if you use rhythmic data or if you use NinjaTrader or somebody. The, the tick data may be a little bit different. The key is, does it close red? Does it close green? Okay, because the arrows will do the work for us in the sweet spot. Now, if I look at news trading, if I look at news trading then, and I go back to news yesterday and crude oil inventories, check this out. Look at this. That is a news release. That's a news release on crude oil inventories. What does it try to do? This is what, when I wrote the book, I wrote the book like, what, six years ago, Gerald? Six years ago, I think it was, we came out with it. So if you look at it, that full retrace right there was about 20 seconds after the news report. It hit the sweet spot in the market. Sweet spot in the market right there. Look at the sweet spot in the market. This one was easier one to take because it's in a full retracement. So you can trade news events with these arrows too because it's getting me in on the sweet spot on the arrows. Just make sure you line up with a full retracement. We cross down. First retracement's the best arrow to take. Full retracement on my shorter time frame. And that sucker tanked. Look at this trade on news. Look at that trade on news on my short time frame. Thanks for coming to work. Look at that. Thanks for coming to work if you know what you're doing. You know to take a full retracement after news and a downtrend. That's just a huge trade. 63 all the way down past 62, 61.80. That's a $1,200 potential trade after news within 40 minutes per one contract. And you risked 100 bucks on the trade with a two tick stop above that swing after the arrow. $100, that's a 12 to 1 reward to risk. That's after news. So that's how you do it.